Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for March 29th, 2021. So as we wind down this quarter, last Friday, right at the end of the day, we had this massive surge of volume that came in that pushed the Dow, just barely squeaked out a new record high at the end of the day. The SPY actually cleared some resistance levels in the chart and things really started to look better overall. But this morning we're seeing just a little bit of pullback from that um, great close on Friday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink Let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, we had kind of an interesting day um, with a massive surge right at the end of the day. Let me show you guys something. If you take um, any index and go to a short term chart, I'm going to go to a 10 minute chart. Notice this surge that came in at the end of the day. And by the way, this surge comes in at the end of every single day anymore. And this is the activity that we see from the dark pools. The dark pools are institutionally traded um, places where uh, the big guys, they get to exchange stock back and forth and they get to hide it from the market. The SEC allows that. Um, about two thirds of the market volume now goes through those dark pools. And unfortunately, we don't get an opportunity to see that until it's consolidated to the market at the end of the day. And that end of the day surge really came in hard on Friday, pushing the Dow up to a new record high. So let's take a look at the technicals here. If we take a look, we are holding in a beautiful upside trend here in the Dow. And though we had some concern here about this resistance high, and I got to tell you, I still have a little concern with that resistance high. Um, we pushed right up through there overall. So Dow in a very, very strong position. Industrials are very much in favor right now. And we can see that in the pre-market here, we're getting just a little bit of a pullback. Right now, Dow futures are indicating down 116 points, but I don't think that really matters after such a big day to the upside. However, we do want to watch this possibility that we could pull back into this trend or even consolidate over here before to our trend before we continue to move higher now if that doesn't occur if we can continue this um, bullishness that we're seeing right now watch for that possibility that we push through first whoops i missed there there we go watch for that possibility that we could push through and then still come back to test support or trend so watch that carefully then let's take a look at the spy spy had a successful test here let's go to our moving averages had a successful test of its 50-day moving average and we literally went from kind of a short-term oversold condition to a short-term overbought condition in just two days of trading. That's really what we've been experiencing here lately with this all or nothing market. Either we're all rushing in or we're all rushing out and creating these nasty little daily whipsaws that can be a little bit challenging for uh, most traders. Now, let's take a look. It's, it's really a good market for day traders. Um, swing of position traders have been struggling in this. But if we take a look at our trend, we have now recovered our trend to the upside. However, we still, and by the way, we did break this price resistance that we've been kind of, I've been kind of worried about. Broke through that and we're holding above that. Now the next test is whether or not we can push through those all-time highs here in the SPY. Now we could certainly... Um, dump this old trend if we chose to. We could get rid of that old trend and we could start looking at this trend right here and start to measure everything off of that um, area right in there. So watch that closely. As we continue to push through, let's see if we can hold this price support that we regained. Don't be too surprised if we 
do see more of a rest or pullback to test trend but let's just keep a close eye on it and if we do happen to break out you know wonderful um i'm trading and i'm, I'm guessing most folks are trading mostly long this market so we just have to be a little bit watchful and be a little bit careful of this wild volatility that we're seeing in the market let's take a look at the cues now the qqq we had an undeniable rally, no doubt about it. We we bounced off of here, but let's um, let's draw this out and let's um, see this chart for what it is, not for what we want it to be. First off, this was a lower high, so we made a lower high followed by a lower low. We pushed right back up and saw another lower high and that also created a lower low. So what we need to um, recognize here is that the QQQ is still in a downtrend. And although we rallied up sharply here the last couple of trading days, notice that we're still underneath that price resistance of that lower low. And we still run into some significant challenges here on the QQQ index. And if we take a look, that means we're still underneath our 50 day moving average. And notice our 50 day moving average is flattened out and our shorter term moving averages have all moved down to create a fairly significant resistance level of price and uh, those moving average resistances. So watch that closely. We still have some major complications here. Now I do have to also say the possibility that this could could be a higher low in that chart creates this wedge pattern. Again, that adds in that um, concern in here that we could just bounce around in this area. We have um, kind of an equal opportunity that we could pop out or break down. So just watch that pretty closely. And if we take a look at um, um, bonds, this is one of the culprits that's causing some of that problem. Um, we had kind of some weak bond auctions um, uh, last week and um, we're starting to see those bonds trying to edge just a tiny little bit higher here again creating some of that inflationary pressure in the market and we know that the the tech sector really seems to be responding negatively to that. So watch that closely. I don't think we're out of the woods here yet on the NASDAQ. Then if we look at IWM, now IWM struggled just a little bit and I was looking at putting in a credit spread on this trade on Friday trying to catch this low but they weren't providing very good premiums in that position so never got filled on that trade right on direction but didn't get the the fill that i was hoping for and as you can see we still have some challenges here in iwm um, we held this price support and that is a good sign held that price support but notice that as we rallied back up we still struggle with this price resistance right here in the chart and if we can clear that, we still have price resistance up here that we need to get through in the chart. So IWM still has a little bit of challenge ahead of it. And notice that this rally back after breaking down below its 50 day moving average, we have rallied right back into that resistance zone of that 50, that possible failure here. Um, and we, it's something we should watch for. So keep a close eye on IWM. Now, of course, if we can get those um, financials and oil sector stocks to perk back up, IWM may come right back around. So watch those closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX is starting to show some good signs here. Notice that we finally are showing a little bit of relaxation of fear, but let's take a look at the price action in this in the last couple of weeks. We have just been all over the map here, whipping up and down. So I'm not sure I can take a whole lot of comfort in that. What I wanna see is we continue to break this down maybe a rally back where we fail at another lower high, and then we really start to look a lot better on the VIX. Let's keep a close eye on this. These whipsaws have been pretty intense here lately, and with the futures pushing down this morning, we could certainly see that pushing right back above that 20 handle here. Um, 
on that VIX. So let's watch that close. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Now I got to tell you guys, we are just in a all or nothing market and we can certainly see that here in this chart. So first off, we sank all the way down here um kept drifting and moving lower pretty sharply with these whips and we came all the way down as a matter of fact at one point in time we were all the way down here um, on that last little sell-off leg and then we pushed back so we went from an oversold condition short-term oversold condition to a short-term overbought con condition in just two trading days all or nothing market and so we're very, very whippy and we're gonna have to be on our toes. I don't wanna suggest that um, we can't um, continue to move higher because I think we can, but we're going to wanna be watching this pretty closely as we continue these whippy price action moves um, in the market. Um, oversold to overbought in just two days, that just gives you an indication of how uh, wild and crazy this market is. So be really, really careful. Then if we take a look at our T2101, the absolute market breadth. This was an interesting thing going on on Friday. And even as we rallied hard in the market, notice right here our market breadth was pulling back on the day, which really means we had more stocks in decline than we actually had rising on Friday. Kind of an interesting situation and how, uh, how that can continue um, we'll just want to keep a close eye on it. If we can continue to push those big tech sector stocks back up, then we could really see these markets continue to rally because they carry such a heavy weight in those indexes. However, if they slip, it could be a bit of a challenge. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we have a almost nothing economic calendar for today and really nothing to really worry about. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep picking up those extra windows here. Um, as you can see here, um, we have a Fed speaker um, and really nothing else in here to move us around. Short-term bond auctions, not much going on in that chart. Keep in mind here on Tuesday, we're going to have Case Shiller home prices. We know home prices have been struggling or homes um, numbers have been struggling just a little bit. So we'll want to watch that. And then we've got consumer confidence. Um, then we're going to head into that um, end of month, the big focus on jobs. We're gonna have ADP, we're gonna have jobless claims, we're gonna have the employment situation number on Friday. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that. Notice Thursday could be a rather rel relatively busy day with a PMI and ISM uh, both on that day. So watch that close and plan forward uh, your risk carefully. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have about 70 companies, 69 companies actually on the list, but a great number of those are unverified reports. And looking through that list, I looked and looked and looked, I really couldn't find much of anything that would be particularly notable. Most of these are very, very small cap companies. However, I did pull out one that may have some interest to you. Let's take a look at C-A-L-M. Um, this may have some interest. Uh, farm products, um, packaged foods, things like that have been a pretty strong area of the market here over the last month or so. And you can see this has been in a rally, holding some price support in here, albeit incredibly volatile. Uh, but we might want to keep an eye on CALM as it reports today and see how it moves along. But that's about the only one that I could really come up with that was notable at all that was a verified report anyway. Let's take a look at our um, at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time that you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, make sure if you feel like the video is worthy, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. It helps the channel to continue to grow. I truly pr appreciate it. And if you feel that you would like to share this video out there um, on your social media, 
media platforms, you're more than welcome to do that. And honestly, I truly, truly appreciate it. It also helps us continue to grow. Hey, just a reminder, guys, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, um, hit and run candlesticks and right way options are tossing the doors open, removing the passwords. We're going to have three days of an open house. If you are listening to this video and want to take a shot at that, come over to the hit and run candlesticks website. You can log in to um, either or both of the hit and run candlesticks or right way options trading room. My room is the right way options trading room. Rick Sadler, my good buddy, runs um, the HRC trading room. So please um, take a look at us. Come on over. You can spend all day. Um, you'll have access to everything that we do and see how we move through or progress through our trading day. So feel free. And by the way, I think you want to come on over if you can, because um, you might want to sign up for that uh, $3,000 computer trading computer that we're going to be giving away here soon. So come on over and take a look. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but please keep in mind that the volatility of this market makes these um, stocks a little bit challenging to trade. Um, there could be an awful lot of whipping around, but let's take a look at a few of these. And remember guys that the stocks that I bring up here are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It is up to you to do your own due diligence and make sure you follow your own set of rules. Remember, Risk is something we all have to manage individually. You should never be blindly following anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look. Um, take a look at this CMCSA. Uh-oh. There we go. CMCSA. I don't know what happened there, but we've got a nice looking chart here um, and a resting pattern. Now notice what we had a little bit of selling that came in here on Friday, but we bounced right back up off of that. So if we can gain, regain this support right in here, I'd keep an eye on uh, Comcast. It's held up pretty well and I placed a price alert right here and this may need a little bit more rest and that's fine but let's watch that and see if that can perk on through um, there watch that one close i've been keeping a close eye on tap here now i didn't buy it on the alert and i should have uh, but you can see this is looking very, very good, breaking through. Now, any rest or pullback in here, I think, sets up an opportunity on tap. Watch that one close. Nice looking chart overall. I think there's some opportunities here. And it could be even a longer term opportunity. Just notice this great big downtrend break here. And we're holding some support levels in the chart. That's a pretty good sign. So keep an eye on that. Looking pretty good overall. Take a look at um, DD. Now DD, interesting chart breaking back above this price support level and we're just stubbornly holding it in here. Bulls and bears seem to be kind of in agreement on price at the moment. What I'm waiting for is to see that next opportunity for that trend to resume. Um, could that possibility be right in here and we bounce off of that and start heading up? Maybe keep a close eye on that. DD might be one to watch. I got to tell you guys, I really am liking Pfizer, particularly after the Friday surge. F Pfizer is one that I hold. Now, I have to recognize and notice the fact that, uh, well, first off, that I have a bias here because I'm in it. But keep a close eye on this. We've got a significant resistance here in the chart that we still need to deal with. I'm holding this star stock. I really like it overall. I like the fact that we're holding above our 50 and 200 day moving averages and that we are starting to see that surge to the upside after breaking this downtrend. So watch that carefully. I think there may be still some opportunity in here, but I wouldn't rule out the possibility that this could rest in here for a while. So keep a close eye on Pfizer. There may still be another opportunity to jump in on this trade if you have an interest. Um, take a look at Starbucks. Um, Starbucks, after breaking down here in that last sell-off, we broke down and kind of gave up support, but we recovered it quickly and just zoomed up the last couple of days. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this. We're too far away from a stop loss, 
But if we can get Starbucks to kind of rest or pull back in here, then we may get a nice opportunity here in that chart. So keep an eye on Starbucks looking pretty good here overall. You guys know I've been mentioning 3M here for some time and 3M, I'm holding this on a weekly. Um, my entry was in here, so I am now getting close to five straight weeks to the upside with no pressure on that trade. Got to tell you guys, it's worth taking a look at some of these longer term charts and looking for these patterns. They really, really pay off. And uh, take a look at Altria. We did the same thing here on Altria. And look at this. How many weeks can this go straight up? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Altria is still looking very, very strong. Um, let's take a look at uh, Disney here. Now, Disney has been struggling and running into some trouble here. Um, I thought this was going to take off in this area and go. I bought some of it, got stopped out on that trade. But I really think um, Disney has got a good story going on. But at this point in time, it's got to get back above that downtrend and hold it as support before I can get back on this trade. But let's keep an eye on it. I think it's worth having on your list. You might want to watch that chart closely. So there's a few charts for you to take a look at. You know, we're seeing a lot of good moves in um, industrial stocks. We're seeing a lot of good moves in consumer cyclicals. Anything that is um, a good dividend uh, pair um, has been really soaring here lately, just zooming to the upside. Stocks like Mondelez, if this can hold after pushing up so strongly, hold up in here, then I think there would be an opportunity to the upside. A lot of these stocks though um, are very, very stretched out in the short term. So we're probably gonna have to wait here for those next entries into those trades. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And I hope we'll see you over in the Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options trading rooms today. Today, Please come on over, ask some questions, um, get involved. We would love to see you there. Everyone, take care. We'll see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning.